Hey, do you hear what I'm saying, Tim? Testing? How do I make it online, comma, it's streaming, so shouldn't you be able to see it? Question mark? Can't do here in browser. Yeah, I'm looking for your chat. You can actually hear me saying words. Respond to my talking if you hear me. You're listening on your uh, laptop? Uh, I've been waiting for this moment that I don't have to keep... Um, keep repeating, keep texting. I can just talk. So one more time. You do hear me, right?
right? Just as long as you can hear me in a way that works. Fantastic. Did you hear me say that? Say yes or no on the chat, please. This is me saying words again, testing. Um, do you still hear me now? Should be able to hear me, I think. Um... <laughs> Do you still hear me now? Should be able to hear me, I think. Um, oh wow, I was hearing myself saying the words. Does this work for you, Tim? Oh, wow, I was hearing myself saying the words. Does this work for you, Tim? Um, oh, wow, I was hearing myself saying the words. It Does seems, this work for you, Tim? There's like a delay between what I'm saying. It's a pretty bad delay, right? All right, well, um,
All right, so just one last time, yet double checking, you're hearing me, right? I'm going to be Gabriella for this quick thing. Green holes, place damage on the Spectral Watcher, search the gathered cards for a copy of Fate of All Fools, put it into play in your threat area. You begin with one resource instead of five. Oh, that's awful. That's that. 45 automatic with two ammo tokens. Physical training. A former member of... I won't read the flavor text of this run through, probably. Um, after an enemy attacks you, even if that attack was cancelled, discover a clue your location and once per hour. Alright, so she's out. Pretty sure all the setup's good. Disappearance of Twilight State. To all the Hallows, blah blah blah. Charity Gala, an annual members only event that will turn deadly for several attendees. Long intro, long Gabriella. I'm gonna skip all of that. So, where does Gabriella start? Alright, so we'll put a damage on him. And I get a copy of Fatable already in play. Now we're ready. I believe I can write in Victorian Halls, which is the place. Um, he does start with the damage, though. Oh, two damage.
Um, Judgment XX. After Doom is placed on any card, each investigator must either take a damage or a harm. Two damage or two harm instead if there are five or more Doom in play. Um, when any investigator is defeated, that investigator must advance this agenda. Do not remove any Doom from this agenda when it advances. Um, something terrible has invaded the home of Joseph, M Joseph Meiger. In the moments that follow, you scramble to survive. When an investigator is eliminated, place each of the investigators flew on the act instead of his or her location. Discover as many clues as you can before you are inevitable to find. Oh, and the skulls are minus three to bail. And this is, a, this is an attack or evasion attempt. Resolve each haunted to the boat area. I'll be fixing tokens. Alright. Um, skulls are minus. Alright, Victorian halls. The warm rays that once illuminated these halls have faded into beams of cold, beams of cold, gray moonlight that shine through floating motes of dust and wisps of darkness. Um, a haunting stillness lingers through the frigid dead halls. The many paintings that adorn the walls have faded and become unrecognizable. Then the metal statuettes, um, flanking the corridors have completely rusted over. Alright, um... Hmm, um, yeah, I forgot that this had this pre scenario to do. Are you still able to see this or watching? Okay. Um. Hey, can you hear me? Is it working better?
You hear me right now when I'm talking? Question mark? How do I know how much delay there is? I only know that when I am watching the live record me, recording. Anyway, um, I guess I will go on. Um, there's no escaping fate. Hear the call and be reborn. I'll periodically check the chat. Um, Gabriella, in the middle. So I guess I start on my turn. Just three actions. As you would normally. My goal is probably to not die too quick. Oh, I have four. Oh, horror set. Well, no. Yeah, it's a... Alright, so... Starting the game with three actions. All right, so I am going to just do my turn, I guess. Um... I guess I'll move for one. Making this door, gonna skip reading it. Lose two resources for each resource you cannot lose from inspecting a heart. Uh, it's not a hard trout clue. I am an admiral two to two though, so really great. Um, I can throw evidence to be afforded to. I can check out the billiard room. Evidence is a very strong card. Sure, I'll run to the billiards room. On that, and I will take my encounter card. I guess. I guess he moves. Neither miss an enemy with a victory point. Which I didn't even think I could get victory points in this. I probably can't. Um. So we got the haunted thing. It is probably my easiest way to gain this clue would be to kill it. Uh, there's still that spectral watcher coming at me though. 
Um. Oh, I I gain a money between the turn. Um. I could just ignore that. Um. How good is a fortitude? Not really that great. Um, I could move, gain a money, play guard dog when he attacks me. I could do my ability get a clue and dodge it. If I move and he gets an attack of opportunity, does that resolve in like the billiards room so I could then use my gaining a clue ability or not? I sent you a chat message. Alright, so... He's an aloof hunter, so... If I engage him... And then move. Oh, he'll still be engaged with me. Yeah, that won't work. Um, and the guard dog isn't the best way to handle him right now. I could move, try to get a clue with evidence, then move back, and well, this turn I could get a clue by just getting a hit, or I could just kill that guy and then get a clue with evidence, maybe kill that guy. Engage, attack, attack, I'd be at a five twice, five to three. Can make that six to three. Time if I really want. It's <laughs> I could engage this and let it hit me just to get a clue at the end of my turn. The other two actions could be spent doing 
I don't know, getting the money and playing a guard dog. I'd only take a heart from it. But then he'd be on me next turn. I'd have to waste stuff to kill him. Not effective. Thinking moving and getting a clue with evidence might not be bad. And moving back. Wait for the spectral watcher to get to me and then do it again. Hmm. Maybe delay the inevitable. It's a really good way to get the two shroud clue, but how about getting this this clue where I'm at? Um Could just dodge the first attack. I could evidence dodge the next one. I'm gonna move. Evidence ain't guaranteed. The dodge will automatically get me there. The evidence will later get me a clue. If I move there and he just attacks me. Move, money, dog. He'll do himself a damage. And I'll take a har. Then he'll be on me. I could move with the dodge, and then I could attack. Sorry, this is going for a while. Okay, I'm going to start, actually. So, I am going to move, action one. I'm going to... I guess I'll throw this, or since he's going to attack me, and I'm just going to... But, um, I guess I'll gain a money and spend three. Well, I gotta kill a dude also. Not yet. Um. If I kill him in there. I guess I won't use evidence in any of this. Evidence on killing something else. After you defeat an enemy, he can't be defeated. Oh, is defeated. Okay, he can be. So I run in here, get a clue. He moves closer. He moves in and he attacks me. I get the other clue. I dodge it the first time. I delay the inevitable one of the times. Um, I'm going to play the dog, yeah. I'm just going to move, money, dog. Done. Oh, we're thinking this too much. He moves here. He takes the damage. Dog takes the damage. I take a horror. And then doom happens. 
Um, oh, for the second time, after Doom is placed on any card, each Mescare either takes a damage or a heart. So now I have another damage. I didn't do that the first time. Um, now he's on me. Oh, but then I would have to kill him immediately, unless I use dodge, dodge wrist attack, and then kill him and get, use the evidence, but that's the least efficient route. Oh, I also haven't done my encounter. Yeah, that doesn't, because I can't evade him, so I guess that not, wasn't a great plan. Man, there was just no good plan in any of this um, until he's all the way on the left side of the screen. There's just nothing good to do. Gaining money, playing the dog. I'm starting to think moving is just not good. But, yeah. Last time I didn't do it, but... I'm just not going to do the move. Then I'm just going to gain the money. I'm going to spend two money to reload my gun. Brings it to five. That's out of the game. Is me at one. Then I'm gonna gain another money. I gain two money and reload. That's all I did for that turn. And he moves to there. Oh, but I still have that other damage. Now everything's kosher. Doom happened. Already, so now two well, second doom and encounter card. This person dark play next to the gender deck. Each location gains haunted Degahar. Start it at the end of the round. Okay, so that does nothing. Um. Now I can move, move back, and that would get one clue. And then next round, when I move with him, I get the other. And I gain a money between the round. So I think that's actually a pretty good plan. I'm going to spend three money to play the guard dog. I'm going to move. To the watcher. <coughs> oh, but she's only gets that once around. The enemy attacks you even if it's limit once per round. So during the enemy phase is is not no round. So that's not a great plan. She's already gonna attack me and get me a clue in the enemy phase. So there's no need to move to her. I play the guard dog. And then, there's nothing really to do. They're going to jump on me and attack me, and I'll get a clue. And then I'll move. And the next round, they'll do the same thing, and I'll get the other clue. Um, it's a little slow. Uh, to speed it up, I could move there, and then move to there, and they get, I take an extra hit. So I, I'm just going to keep. Biding my time. Um, I'm going to gain. I guess I'm going to gain. Two money. First aid or. Play, and then play delay the inevitable. Because why not use that to protect myself.
When you are dealt damage in Dorhar, discard it, cancel all damage in Dorhar. So, that was my turn. Spectral Watcher moves to me. I get rid of Delay the Inevitable and block the hit. Um, or block the damage and everything, but I still gain a clue. That clue's mine. Play the one way to avoid all the haunted abilities. Spectral Watcher's on me. Spectral Watcher does have one damage. That is still true. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to use... I could have you played Delay the Inevitable last round, but... Using the guard... Eh. The guard dog is also a thing. Um... I weaken him so that I can kill him more easily. But... Depends on if this is direct damage or direct horror that I'm taking. Just take one damage or horror. Yeah, so... I guess I'm okay using it. Doesn't really affect anything. Better, it might be better to play the first aid. Two actions to gain one turn. It would gain me a turn at one point. As far as health goes. I did what I did. I I do that. So it blocks a hit, but... Um, I get the clue. Now, I'm gonna uh, it just doesn't make sense to use Lay Inevitable. I'll, I'll instead have played First Aid. It makes more sense. And then I take a damage on the beat cup. On the uh, guard dog. Dahar on me that he takes the damage. So oh. now this goes away. <clears throat> Doom happens, so I take When I moved him on me to attack me and everything, I forgot about. I now have to move on to Doom. Oh, and money and card, which is just money for this. So the Doom's at three. I get an encounter. I'm going to take yet another damage. I got Whispers in the Dark again. Lovely. Next, I'm going to... I'm going to <clears throat> move. And I guess I'd get hit. Do I want to dodge the hit? This is a way to get two clues, is the whole plan. Well, no, I wouldn't have the money if I dodge a hit. No, of course I'm not gonna. I'm gonna take another damage on the dog. And a horror on me. And does him another damage. I've moved to there. <clears throat> and now I'm going to attack him with my gun which makes me a five to three I could throw something I have how many actions I move and he hit me and now I'm attacking so I have one extra action I will just try at a five to three I think this one gains one token 
Oh no, actually plus one gains three tokens. Gains all the minus threes. I think it'd be a lot more if the skulls are minus three. It's three tokens. More than 10%, huh? Um... Is it worth it to throw, uh, delay the inevitable at it? There's a great card that, with the time to play it, money, I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to play both. I might be, though. <clears throat> um, I'll try it, the, the, the five to three. Doesn't have retaliate, right? Alert. Sad that wasn't gonna succeed anyway. I'll throw a delay to be a uh six to three. Just okay, more than barely. It was by one. So that used another ammo, but this time he's down, he's defeated. And for that reason, I get another clue by spending my last money on evidence. And now, enemy phase. Uh, it says not ready, but now it's regularly exhausted for next round. I gain the money. We have an encounter card. Oh, and doom. At four doom, I take another another damage, I guess. It's about to get worse, isn't it? After doom is placed on any card, two damage or two horror instead if there's five or more doom in the play. The most doom you can possibly have on that is, I think, seven is the hope. Um... That all happened. Uh, encounter. Error in the night. I'm a three wheel, so I'm not terrible. I could spend a money on this, but I'm not. Hopefully, it just doesn't get surge. I believe that's a minus three. Yep, so that is a complete fail. It wouldn't have made much difference if I threw money, so it's a good thing I didn't. That goes up in the middle, and it gains surge. Oh, this could be bad. Um, Four wheel testing, there's really nothing I can do about it. Same fail. So I have to lose an asset. Holy crap, does that suck. Um, physical training is lovely. Um, on the other hand, all the other ones are health, which is kind of also very lovely. Physical training will keep me alive during tests, but health also. I could lose the guard dog. He's one and one at this point. Possibly a damage. Um, uh, there's a first aid. I'm not going to lose. Huh? The guard dog is only one in one. Currently, next doom says what if there's five or more. So next doom will give me two damage, bringing me to six. Doom after that will give me two damage, killing me. Or two horror, either way, killing me unless I lose a guard dog or I have healed with the first aid. I can survive next round's hit, the round after that, if I use my first aid. 
found after that if I have a guard dog and the first aid. I'm going to give up the physical training. That might be a mistake. So, um, and I have definitely gotten that clue. He's evaded. I'm just going to run along. I believe the office is really I trout, if I recall, so I'm going to keep running along. I think there's two clues in it, though, but I think it's two. It's like a four trout, not a two trout. One of the other. I think it's four. So I'm going to move to the master bedroom. At least one of the clues in the master bedroom is haunted. It's a three. Is still kind of too hard for me. Three to three. Not an enemy. I'm not good at these. Um, I'm just gonna run off to the balcony. One. There's my one shroud. That's what I've been needing. Okay, well, I moved, I moved, I moved. That was my altar. Alright, gain of money, and... Uh, doom. Which is five doom now, and I take two damage. And now an encounter. Unfortunate. Shapes in the mist. Just killed my guard dog. Because the haunted ability does a damage to each thing with health. And I draw another encounter card. Terror in the night again. Just doing the tests. Elder sign. I might even succeed. Plus one. Heal one damage and one horror. Wow. That's really nice. And it's plus one, which was a three to four. So I succeeded. That was really lovely. Okay. Okay. That means I don't even need to use her save to survive this turn. Take the damage. Um, each of your cards with health takes one direct damage. Does that include myself? I think it does. Ah, yeah, it does. Alright, so that means I do need to take a damage for that, but the Elder Sign resolved that damage, kind of. Um, failing test here gives, makes me lose health on only a 2 to 1 is terrible. Um, but I don't know where else I'm going to get a clue, but hell no. I mean, I I can, if an enemy could pop up, then I can get a clue. I could spend the whole turn just first aiding, but I'll, I'll use one first aid for sure. To heal. Um, if I use the whole turn first aiding, at the very least... I mean, what's two to one? We're, we're talking less than 50%. Yeah. Um, I'm going to Sure thing. I'm just going to heal, heal. Whoa. Went the wrong way with that. Or, yeah, it doesn't discard it after I use it. No, after I am. Okay, so I'll use it one more. Right now, I can take, if I use it completely, I can take two hits, which would keep me alive if I draw Fate of Fool, all fools, so I, it was almost like a waste to use the entire round first aiding, like once, definitely, maybe twice, the thing is, I just don't know if I should do this two to one test, um, well, I should definitely do the first aid twice, if I'm going to do the test. 
Because now, if I fail and take a damage, I will still survive the two damage at the end of the round. No way to raise the stat, so it's just a straight up risk. Lower, uh, I guess I'm just going to first aid the whole round. Gain of money. Doom happens. I take two damage. So I thought the game ends if it reaches seven doom. If there's Okay, we'll see how long the delay on this question is. When and isn't there something, Tim, where um Doom spent like, like where when you reach seven Doom the game just automatically must end? New damage from the Spectral Watcher. So, he was actually ready last round and moved to here. So now, he readies, moves, engages, and takes it with an enemy face. So he moves to here. He doesn't do anything else. And that's all he does. Really awful when he moves, when he's next to you, but right now it's not so terrible. In fact... His attack would be my way of getting all the clues. So the Doom will hit 7 next turn. I could reach 8. I don't know if that matters for anything, but assuming that it doesn't, I'm thinking action 1. I Well, I can survive through one more round if I don't take any damage this turn. Uh, but I could try two to one, one, a couple times to get this clue, then move and he'll kill me. And no, no, then move and I can use dodge to stay alive, and I'll get the other clue. I'm gonna see if I got a response to some question. I know seven is a goal. I don't remember if there's a hard limit. I'm asking questions on the chat. Um, 
I'm pretty much ready to wrap this up. I can take my shots at two to one, and then, or I could just move, move back, using a dodge to get me one clue. Then that's it, basically. Just move, move back. That'll get me one clue, and then play delay the inevitable, or, or mon gain a money, move, move back, for example, which will make him attack me once and get me a clue on the three shroud location. Then I can spend um, Or actually, forget gaining money, just move, move back, and play Delay the Inevitable. Which will protect me from his attack, and then I'll take two damage, and I'll stay alive. And then I'll draw an encounter card. And then, assuming that encounter doesn't kill me, I can move and spend the money with, with Dodge to get the other clue. Waiting for Alright, then I'm not going for a strategy again, though. So I could try to get this clue this turn, and then move, and then he'd attack me. I could use a dodge. Um, but there's a danger of taking damage from that. I'd rather go with the guaranteed thing, as long as the encounter card doesn't kill me. So it's pretty likely that I'll live. Uh, you never know. I don't know how dangerous the encounter card will be, but at the very least, I will survive to the seven doom. So I'm going to move, I'm going to move back, or action one, I'm going to spend two money and play Delay the Inevitable. Action two, I'm going to move to here, and he, this back to Watcher engages me. Action three, I'm going to take one damage and one heart, sorry, not. I'm going to lose Delay the Inevitable and move back. And because he tried attacking me and I delayed the inevitable, it, I get my clue. And now he attacks me for a damage and a horror, and I spend the money to play my dodge. Um, and because the same round, that clue is not gotten. Oh, wait, I don't know if that. <laughs> should I not do that plan? Because that whole plan is predicated on the fact that I can get hit by him. No, I can't get hit by him and get the clue. No, next turn when he hits me for damage in that, it would just kill me. So that plan doesn't work. So I might as well go for the best odds of getting that clue this turn. Which instead is basically the same turn. Turn has already been reset. I'm just going to... Then try to test it, getting that clue. Um, hmm. If I do it the other way, testing, then I might get damage. I just literally don't know how much value is it. Is there more value in getting more doom or?
All right, well, I'm not sure why I'm trying to survive so hard, but I am trying to survive that seven doom mark. Which means the scenario I just did would work. If I try to get greedy, I can get that clue. Attempt to. If I fail, I take a damage, and then he'll attack me. He won't attack me, but I'll die all the same. So, the only way... There, there is no way to get both the clues and reach seven doom. So, um, I guess... Yes, I'm just not. I'm gonna go with the original plan. All right, so I did it the way I said it the first time. Spent three money. I dodged the second attack. Blah blah blah. So there we go. I take two damage because the doom threshold reaches seven. Um, and I draw an encounter card. Ah, I was hoping this card would come up just to make it funny. Crypt chill. So it's a poor test, and I might lose the last asset I have. Oh, it actually, you know, I actually could have tried to kill him again. Not that it would have gotten me a clue, but <laughs> for ha-has, I guess. Failed miserably, so I lose my gun, my last asset, and now it's my turn. And um, if I pass my turn, he'll still attack me and kill me, so it doesn't matter. Or I move. And he attacks me and kills me. And I would get the clue, but... This is after an enemy attack... After they attack me. So it would resolve and kill me first. So I'm dead. And that's it. And that's the whole thing. Uh, discovered any clues. So now they're at three on the act. And our little quick resolution. Switching hour. Wait, no, that's not our resolution. No resolution was reached because everyone was defeated. Mr. Sanford, thank you so much for coming. I know you're a busy man. Your presence at tonight's meeting is very much appreciated. Joseph shakes uh, Carl Sanford's hand firmly as he speaks. Sanford merely nods. I know you've only just arrived, but I have some private matter to discuss with you, if that is all right. Joseph continues, and your eyes shifting back and forth between the men flanking. Mr. Sanford, very well. The elder naive man nods to his two enforcers to who step aside to be given privacy. He crades, cradles. His hands behind his back, his stature impressive for his age. His discerning eyes fall on Joseph. What is the matter? Joseph leans closer. It's here, sir. It's here in this very house. There is a quiet pause between the two men, and then Carl Sanford smiles. No experience in your campaign log. Record X. So there were three clues. Return each of the player cards used in the scenario to the faction. Each player chooses an investigator from his or her pool. I don't get it. Seven Doom did nothing. Uh, maybe it's in the future that it matters. So I got three pieces of evidence. All right. Cool. Three pieces of evidence. And that is that. Pitching hour. The missing persons section of the campaign next year character profile make a record of that player's fate 
as follows. Then flip the agenda. If you're defeated by a spectral watcher, if you defeat it, uh, taken by the watcher, or they were taken by the watcher, if there were seven or more doom in play when this agenda advanced, and you were defeated by horror or damage dealt by the forced ability on agenda 1A, so I'm just going to say yes because I easily could have been. It's all the same thing. Um, when this agenda advanced and you were defeated by horror or defeated by, dealt by force ability. This. Okay, so we're dragging to the mist, I guess. I don't get how that helps, but we're dragged into the mist. Should I go on to Patrice?